Lucille Ball had bought an article from Life magazine about uh, um, the family. Uh, God, what's the name of the family? I know it so well. Anyway, <clears throat> it was about a family that had happened when a uh, Navy officer had married a nurse, and she had eight children, and he had ten children. And he was a widower, and she was a widow. And they met, and they married, and the family had 18 children. And she said, well, that's got to be funny. So she bought the story, and she had it for years. She had about four screenplays on it and could never get anything that she felt would really make a movie. And so Lou Edelman, who had been my producer on a couple of pictures at Warner Brothers, called me in and said, do you think you can make this story to work for Lucy? And I said, that's a hell of an assignment. We'll try. So I called in Mort Lockman to be my partner. And we wrote um, his, hers, and his, hers, and theirs, I think, was the first title of the movie that eventually became Yours, Mine, and Ours. And it was about, luckily, we had Hank Fonda to play the officer, and uh, um, we had uh, the, uh, the nurse, and we had, we had to get 18 kids, which wasn't that tough. Lucy, Lucy uh, as the mother, and Lucy wanted to make the picture uh, because she wanted, again, as happened with Cary Grant, who wanted to be known as a family man, she wanted to be known as a family woman. She had two children, and she felt that her persona uh, in the Lucy shows was not really her, and this would do more. So we wrote the script, and they all liked it, and we decided to go ahead with the movie. And I found that I was in a battle every day, because Lucy had been doing the Lucy show, where she was everything. And she did everything, and she knew everything. And I insisted on directing her, and she got very angry about that. Uh, she wanted to tell me where to put the camera and other things of that sort. And I found out that with Lucy, we had to shoot her head on. We had to shoot her with lighting from the front, because the wrinkles on her face from all those years with makeup would made it impossible for us to move the camera on her or to change angle. So that was pretty damn tough. And... Um, then we came to the, her big scene. <clears throat> She's got a romance going with uh, Henry Fonda, anyway. Uh, and he has her over to his house while they're recording. And he's got all these children who don't want a new mother. And so during uh, the preparation for it, they spike her drink. And she's just having a wonderful time with all of them. And she gets completely loaded. And they go to the dinner table. And in the middle of the dinner, she accidentally spills something on one of the kids, and she starts laughing a whole bit, and <clears throat> she realizes she's embarrassed herself, she embarrassed everything, everybody, and she goes into this tremendous apology for getting drunk, but it's broken up by fits of laughter because it was so funny, and she said, oh, I can't do that, you know, that's too much. I said, Lucy, we wrote it for you because you're the only one who can do it. And she said, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just not gonna do it. You can't make me do that. Anyway, battle. Closed down for a while, argument. She finally went, and she did it. Nobody could have done it better. It's the best scene she's got in the picture. At any rate, you know, with the 18 kids and all of the problems with it, at the end, the last shot of the picture was a close shot of Lucy. And she said, well, how did you enjoy working with me? And I said, Lucy, it's the first time I ever made a movie with 19 children. And she started to cry. She didn't talk to me for months after that until the grosses of the picture started coming in. And then she called me in and she battled, she, she argued with me, she, she hated me because what had happened, she owned Desilu Studios. We made the picture at Desilu, they owned 60% of the profits of the picture. While we were shooting the picture, she sold the studio to Paramount. And the profits were so great that Paramount got all of her money back and she had given the studio away for nothing because it made too much money. And she blamed me for that. But later on, later on, we got to be friendly again. And when I, uh, I guess uh, I wrote uh, How to Make a Jewish Movie, one of the books about Israel, and she wrote a blurb for the cover, too. So I knew that I was forgiven. But she was an, an incredible person, as you know.